Where's she going? Come and sit there. Hey. Oh, see the hair on the floor. What are you doing tomorrow? Sleeping. Maybe you sleep upstairs. Oh. I got a lot of work to do. Oh, gosh. A big one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It comes to sleep. No, it's coming like this. He just isn't like a pregnant woman. Jason is dead. He's not dead. Eh? He's fine. Like this. You hold him. So, come. Stop them pigs. Them. Stop the. Stop the going up to. <laughs> no, I just want to talk to you about. What happened last night? Is it? Are we still in the night or something? But what happened tonight? Um, I know that you probably heard some things that might have shocked you, or might have caused you to, I don't know, think about a lot of things. So I just wanted to clear that thing from your mind. Because first of all, we are friends, and I don't know, the last time we had a date, I told you how much I cherish this whole thing that we have, and I wouldn't want it to go away just like that, you know? And it would even be unfair to you if I do not, like, tell you what the actual thing is and just act like everything is okay, and I know deep, deep down that it's not okay. Because if it was me, I'll even be, I don't know, I'll think about it in so many ways. You know, but I don't want to give you that stress of having to think about it yourself. When deep, deep down, I know that you can't figure it out. Like, no matter what you do. Because if you say you're thinking about it yourself, you will think about it, but you never understand. Because you've not been told what the actual thing is, you know. And I just want to be fair to you, because you've been very, very good to me. Even tonight, when the whole thing happened, mm -hmm. you were still there. Where's you going? Where are you going? No, let me go there. You go and clean it. The under eye. I'll clean it for you. You know? When the whole thing happened, I mean, if it was someone instantly, they would act awkward towards me or something. Do you understand? But she didn't. You even held my hand. I was very, very surprised. I'm not even going to lie because I didn't see it coming. And yeah, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. So the whole incident about the clothes thing. I think we were in the closet and there were a few people there who were talking about the fact that someone who has been evicted, obviously, um, some items were taken from the person and given to you, like that instant, do you understand? And the person was mad about it. I can't mention it, you know. You understand that I can't mention it. Mm -hmm. And uh, maybe one day when we leave the house, I'll mention it, but right now I can't. And that. And the person got mad about it and was so all over. The person's things were given to me. Yes, the person's things. That's what. So that's what the conversation was about. The person, someone said that. <laughs> Sometimes I wish I had the boldness of other people, so I just mention names. But it's not appropriate, you know. Like at this time, maybe one day I'll tell you about it, because I believe that we'll still be friends even outside this house. So I'll tell you about it. And um, yes, someone's things were taken and given to you. And so the person before leaving this house was like very, very mad about it and they said so many things, you know. So I was like, that is that I was like, ah. But like, why would anyone do that? Do you understand? Like, even if it was true, then it means that it would be very bad. And maybe that's the reason why um, some of the things that you have do not fit. She gets because if so it is for someone, said, yes, that if that is the case, that is the case, then maybe that is why some of the things that they give you will not fit. Do you understand? And uh -huh. that I time, that the, so listen, the thing is, that time, 
<laughs> it's not even funny. That time, I don't know if you remember, but I told you that me, I never saw us being friends. So I saw you as a usual housemate, as another young lady living in this house. So if a conversation comes up like that, not, not to justify myself, but I'm just human and I'll probably say some things that I wouldn't say now because of how I feel about you, do you understand? And if I should hear, right now, and if I should hear someone say the same thing that they said that made me say that, I'll be very, very angry. I don't know if you get the difference. Mm -hmm. So I was like, ah. Then if that's the case, then this is what it looks like now. And maybe if we were friends, I would have asked you that, is it true that someone's stuff were taken? Maybe you don't even know. You understand? Maybe you don't even know the whole thing. So when I heard her say that, the only thing that came to mind was, ah, I haven't been fair to you. Maybe even that time I could have just minded my business, you know, but I didn't. And then now being friends with you and then all of this coming up, then it would look like I'm probably not being honest with you and I'm just being all nice about wanting to be friends with you and stuff like that. But I would have probably said some bad things about you. Like, that's what it's going to look like now. If, if I were in your shoes, that's what I would think. But honestly, that is not what the thing looks like. And I don't know what she was trying to achieve by saying all of the things that she said tonight. Because she said a lot of things about a lot of people that are not even like that. That uh, do not even seem the way that they're, they're, they're looking like right now. You know, so... I just want to talk to you and clear that thing from your head because it was a bit. See, I've, you know, sometimes you do something and you regret, you regret instantly. There's been several instances in this house where, like, I've, I would say something here yeah, about a situation and later I'm like, ah, I shouldn't have. Or I'll sit and I'll just shout or I'll just scream like, ah, I could have done this this way and it would have been better, you know. That's how I feel tonight. And... I don't want you to go to bed thinking about this thing, or even waking up to think that, ah, am I sure that this person is really being friends with me or they are playing with my feelings, you know? That is why I wanted to talk to you before you go to bed. And I just want to, like, really, I don't know, I don't know, but I just really, I really want to say something. To, Maybe yeah. it will sound funny, but <laughs> I just want to say it. Have you about... want something that... No, about the clothes. Have yeah. Within those times that <laughs> now you don't talk to me, <laughs> did you see me wear something that didn't fit that made you say? Pro that like, is why no. If I say, if I say, mm -hmm. if I say that is why like your, your that's why like it wouldn't fit or something. It's not like the size or anything. But you know, but according some, to what the girl yeah. said, that is why most of my clothes don't fit me. No. No, that's why most. Why would I even say that? Yes. I said, when she said that, immediately I was like, ah, let me be, that's why some of your clothes do not fit you because it was weird to me. If it is true that it was being taken and given to you, then obviously it wouldn't fit because it's not for you. Do you understand the whole situation? And that is what I meant. Because if someone's items are, you're not the same size as the person that we were talking about. Do you understand? So obviously it wouldn't fit no matter what you do. Jiget. So it's not as though I was trying to say that, oh, everything you wear don't fit, and you know, and it would be like it would fit into the context that the whole thing was said, but no. And right now I'm explaining to you because I don't want you to have second thoughts. So you said the thing too? Yeah, she was there, she was there during that. Did she come and meet They were, girl? yes. She didn't. Oh, you know the girl. Wait. She didn't. No, so, so there was someone else today mm -hmm. that came to meet the girl. Or either came to meet the girl. Yeah, yes. So was she doing coming with Yes. Her? So, oh, you know the person. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So the other girl came to meet the person. Mm -hmm. And then, I don't know, maybe before she came, she saw something outside or something. So she knew who they were talking about, obviously, you know. And then that whole conversation came. That's why I was even saying that I do not want to mention her name because... By the time that this one came into the house, the other girl was gone, you know? So it will be some way. That's why I don't want to mention it. And people have left. People have come and left. It's not how they're coming to mention their names and stuff like that. 
and things that have happened in the past have probably happened in the past. Maybe because they've forgotten, you know. But I need to explain to you that is why I'm telling you, and I don't want to. I feel like just not the time to mention names and make noise about it. I just care about our friendship. It's not even about them. Whatever she said, she said for her own reasons, and I can't hold her neck because she has said the things that she has said. Do you understand? She probably has her reasons in her head, and that's supposed to be her business. But I'm having this conversation with you because you're my friend. And I wouldn't want something that someone has said tonight to like throw all of these things away. Do you understand? Because I am looking forward to seeing you more of a sister than a friend. I don't know if you get. Yeah, yes, so I see it will pain me that this girl will come in between us or anybody else. You know, I don't want that at all. At all. I don't even care about what people are saying or what people think, but I just, as like girls, I just want you to understand that I don't care what someone has to say about us. I really, really do not want to lose this friendship. And it is a promise that I want to make to you that I am not going to do anything to hurt your feelings moving forward. Because the thing that happened, it was said like four weeks ago or something in the past. I've even forgotten. So I don't know if you get how serious it is. Even me hearing it, I'm like, ah, this thing that happened like a long time ago. But, you know, the things that we do, we'll, it will definitely come back to you. If you throw a ball, it will come back to you no matter what. If you say something, one day, one day, it will eat you up. It will catch up with you, it will, you know, and then it will look awkward. But you didn't even make me look awkward on stage. And that is one thing that I really, really want to say thank you to you for because that's as I see if it was someone else to act, hey, I know, I even know people in this house that would have acted like I've killed someone, you know, but we didn't do that. And thinking about it, me, I'm very, very grateful to you. At least you waited to hear all these things that I'm telling you before you probably decided, that, okay, this person has hurt my feelings, this person has done that, oh, at least act awkward towards me. You know, when we came back, I kept asking, are you okay? Because I know that if it was me, I wouldn't be okay. And even that one cramp, you were still lying to me that you were okay because... I was okay. Oh. They're lying. It's true. They're lying again. It's true. I'm not lying. It's true. No, but... See, we, as you said, we are all human beings. And if I wanted to act so strange or weird to you, I would have done that yeah. at the stage. So I don't see the need why... I'll act so nice over there, mm -hmm. and then I'll come and pretend it because everything was said there. Mm -hmm. So if I have a, if I had any reactions to make, I should have made It'll it over there. there. And talking about my, my facial expression, sometimes as you said the last <laughs> time that if not you understanding how sometimes I do my face, you would see mm. me had a problem true, with true. everything that she was doing. We all zone out. Mm. But I don't know how my own looks like in the eyes of people. One day, one day when you are playing the highlights, they should be playing only your videos. Because, because I can just hmm. think, think about something. And then if you've noticed something, you can think about something and then you just change your face all of a sudden to yeah. think about everything that is going on in your mind. So you can sit and all of a sudden you just think about something. And somebody somewhere will look at you and be like, <sighs> Do you have a problem? But it's true. Problem. That they also sit here and ah, this is, girl. What's going on in this person's but, life? But meanwhile, you've not confronted the person for the person to open up, but you just judge the person by her appearance or her yeah. facial expression that she's making. So I was so happy when you said, the way you did your face this morning, eh? if not, <laughs> I was like, hey, no, I have true. nothing running true. through my mind. I was just saying that because everything she was saying, my mind was... <laughs> <laughs> Where my mind was, that was mm. why I also kept telling you, oh, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Because if I had something to do, mm -hmm. I would have done it over there. So why then would I act nice over there and come and show you my real character or my real feelings here? Because at the point, I felt everything she was saying or some of the things she was saying, maybe she has something in her heart and wants to say something mm -hmm. that so oh, head, head to you. So, I'm like, let me just allow her to flow and let her look some ways. So I was like, 
I'm sorry. My <laughs> <laughs> it sounded so funny to me. Like everything was, she was saying at the point sounded so funny. Like, I'm sorry, I know about it. You look at them like, like okay, like this. <laughs> this get be pale. Even me, I was surprised because the way she was going on and on and on. I'm like, ah, what's going on? And, and I don't on? know if you, if you saw. I held one hand of yours. Yeah, and you I added the other one. I, I added the other one. <laughs> And I was looking at her so that she would look at me at what I was doing. Yeah, Maybe her, her aim was to Charlie. see me. Yeah. Don't worry, you, enough, enough about it. She has already done so much tonight. It's not, this is not about her. This is about us. I don't want us to... And moving forward, I don't want us to even have to talk about her anymore because the harm has already been done. It's not that I come in to discuss the person again then. If they're probably over here or something, they'll come and act weird. Like you're literally gossiping about them. I don't I don't even want us to have any issues with anybody in this house anymore. At no. all. At all. Because, hey. No, I feel everybody should be in this room. Yeah, that's all. Yeah, the thing is not centered around you. Mind your business. Mind Ten- your yeah, tonight Joe was telling me that. If you hear somebody talking about something. Mind your what? business. If it's not you, mind you. There is no need for you to go Even and tell if the person, I heard this kind of person saying this. But it's hmm. to also get angry and come and consult you. I mean, I'm saying that. Period. I mean, I'll be saying that. Even if you mention your name and it's not true, keep quiet and watch them. It's not, you don't have to prove anything to anybody. Do you understand? And I've learned it the hard way, Sha, because at this point. Hmm. But it's serious, though. I know. <laughs> it's very, very serious. Like. I know. Hey. Hello? What is it happening to every reason? So, they might have their own reasons to everything that they're doing. If you mean whatever you want to do, I feel there is nothing that can break that. Mm-hmm. Yes. True. You can get mad or angry to the maximum. But if you really like cherish what you've started, True. you wouldn't let anything break it. True. You would find real ways and appro- like approachable ways to approach those things mm-hmm. and then trash everything else. Mm-hmm. But if you see it, you'd be like, no. I wasn't expecting this. So if the person has said this, I think I have to react for the person to know that this is what the person has done. And it just starts up a whole different thing altogether. Really something. So it's good you've made me understand that it wasn't how maybe I'm supposed to take it. Why do you think it's maybe? Maybe it's normal. It's good to sit and talk about people. But if you understand the person, the person explains yeah. further about what has happened. You just have to understand it. You just it. So I don't even have it in mind though. Mind free. Remember that I hear something like, hey, okay, is it that I'm lost in this house? Yeah. <laughs> that was what I was saying. The last time. last two weeks is the last thing I was like, even this house, I was like, ah, then this closest me have to be entering there. What's going on? It's like there's a lot <laughs> happening in this life. And we are just there, we and don't you see, know. my sister is not there, so me say, I, I, I know, I, right? I, I don't even enter there. I mean, when, she, when she mentioned the fact that uh, everything that she said was happening in the closest room, and me, that I'm always with Joe, he will not even let me enter that room. Or if he enter, I'm going to stay close. But again, this conversation is not about them, so I'm moving forward. I want us to try not to talk about them. So that we we'll, we'll look or sound as but, though but we are how, gossiping how about her. We sit and talk about people. I don't know. I don't know. Hey. <laughs> I don't know, but it has already happened, so. I'm just very, very, very sorry that you have to hear that at this point. And for whatever reason, I don't know. I, mean, I, I just hope, I mean, I just hope they achieve what they want to achieve. But not here. Not in this corner. Not in the Delilah sisters. <laughs> so, I have something for you. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. I have something for you. Let, let no, but we are. Here. No, you know we are in Big Mama's house. You can't do anything hey. extra. Hey. But I have. So yeah. My my mom gave me some jewelry mm-hmm. that I really, really like. But I want to give to you. 
just to show you how much I appreciate our friendship. And I just wanted to keep it. I just wanted to keep it. It's like I'm making a promise to you. Just keep it so that every time you see it, you just remember maybe this day or any other day you are going to spend in this house. Because all things are going, you might never know when you are going home. It could be today, it could be tomorrow, you'll be shocked. Like, I never expected a weekday. You see, you'll be, <laughs> hey, I swear, this week I was surprised. I was like, nah, is it a joke? I kept saying, like, are you playing? But it happened, you know? So, it is, it is tiny. It's the tiniest thing you could ever think of, but it's really from my heart. And, yeah. Mm. I want to give it to Not you. Not receive, but accept it. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> no, but so, I have received it. So it's a, it's a pair of earrings mm. that I like so much, but I want to give to you so that you keep it. Baby, let's see Saturday if you want to wait. Can I wait? Hey. But, <laughs> but tonight is for you to keep it, you know. Okay. Yeah. Hey, I know you you're yeah, welcome. HD. HD. I do. Thank you. I also accept this wholeheartedly. Hey, this one, they ask you, do you accept the roses wholeheartedly? Oh, wholeheartedly. Oh, wholeheartedly. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Wholeheartedly, so I also accept this wholeheartedly. And then I'm not receiving it because you've come to apologize and I have to do that to make you happy. Why are you making me cry? To your heart, to me. It was very hard to receive something from someone you love so much. And when you give it out to a different person, I hardly do those things. Like a bonnet. So you doing something like this, I'm so happy about it. I like it. I'm going to keep it. And wear them for you to see that. Not just keeping it, but I'm going to do that. So, thank you. So I'm much. so glad. You're making me, you're making me tell. <laughs> 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 The clue is disturbing you there. <laughs> <laughs> But you know, it's short and it's comfortable. I know, right? Because it looks comfy. Yes. And it's tight too. So it holds you fine, 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 fine. And the legs. I've watched it, but I'm going to wear it in my house. In my mom's house there. <laughs> Full of surprises. <laughs> so, I'm not wearing it. My word is on for you. Thank you. Good, you, you, you notice that maybe whatever happened has affected me or has hurt me, and we have to talk about it to clear some things. Yeah. So, I'm happy about it. Don't mind me. Anything you know? You know. <laughs> hey, you come and do that thing again. <laughs> for, eh? for some I come and say, yeah. hey, I beg you. And to keep it in your heart and mm -hmm. to react about it. But you know, a lot of people are not going to take these things like they like it. I know. But you really love everything that is going on between you and the person. You really let something that is very easy to solve. You Come on with me, yeah. yeah. Sorry, the 
everything will be so Accept it. Okay. So I hold nothing against you. Everything is clear for my mind. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Hey, you want go, um, goose bomb to catch you? Oh, hey, why? Mm. <laughs> I'm feeling what I'm saying. That's what. Okay. So, can we go and sleep now? Mm, can we sleep now? Yes. I think the boys are sleeping. I'm sleeping on my bed so I can spread my legs. <laughs> hey. And I'm sleeping on my bed, though. Ah, mm. I can't wait to show you. Hey, are you done with the laundry? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I should go and start so that. Mm -hmm. But someone's things are inside. I don't really need anything. They're in the washing machine. But when I was there, there was nothing there. Even when I went to take this out. So but when you went there, there was something. It was inside, but. Oh. So, yeah. Feeling will go. Okay. Mm, just wait. Tomorrow, God willing, yeah, in the morning. Nice. And tomorrow, we are doing the general cooking. Cooking? You're not doing the general. Tomorrow, everybody will clean what they're supposed to clean. Then, when you're done, we just want, those of us who want to cook, cook. I mean, we'll go and help Tessie. We'll cook then for the we'll, week. We'll cook soups and other mm. things. Mm, check out our soup, garden egg, oko, tomato. Mm. The consumer, they said the consumer will become soft. They keep it in the freezer. In the freezer. Who puts in the freezer? And the I won't do anything. Won't do I'll anything. see if I can talk to Tessie so that we do. Yeah. But when they keep it in the freezer and then when they start. I won't do anything. Freezer, no, even even when they keep it in the freezer, mm -hmm. all these ones they've been keeping it in the freezer. When it's time for us, <laughs> we have to put it down for, for it, it to melt. melt. So it's the same thing. So it's the same thing. How you eat it when but, you put it in the fridge before you put uh, it. It's the same thing when you put it in the fridge. We'll talk to her and see. As more we have to help. So. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, we all go there. Mm, the boys don't even look okay. I just hope that by the time they wake up. You think mm, they don't look okay? They don't. Uh, you know, especially Joe, I feel like he's just overwhelmed with everything that happened tonight. Like he didn't see it coming, so he's a little surprised. I just hope that by tomorrow he will come back to normal. He too. Maybe tomorrow we'll talk to them. Okay. I feel he's so tired that he wants to No, I don't think so. I think he was quiet. He was unusually quiet. Both of them. No, you you, you know everything that happened today was kind of there was <laughs> a some way yeah. thing altogether to people. I know. Uh, so maybe he hasn't felt this kind of way and if we look at how he was he, lo he didn't smile a bit <laughs> a today. Bit. He was very oh, mad. Oh, oh. Mm. We have a lot to do here. Come to see Pierre. See the hair on the floor. It doesn't enter the blue. See the way you my face. See my oh hair. God. See you. Oh God. Where? Mm. My car, some is still there. Do you go? I did white, I did black. White.